Hello everyone, hello you right there. Well, my name is Hope Swithin and this is The Hope Swithin Show. You know, at The Hope Swithin Show, all we do is deal with life issues. Today, we will be dealing with life issues with the only answer that is one size that fits all. How do I mean? This answer answers every life issue. You're wondering, how is that possible? Well, you'll get to know today. Well, like I said, stay glued to this and just watch all through. And I'm not alone right here in the studio. I have a beautiful lady. She's a queen. You need to see her. She's, 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 she'll be coming up soon. Don't worry. Her name is Esther. Let me just give it so, out. Um, when we come yeah, back, sorry. you will get to meet Esther. And we'll be talking about the answer. One answer. The only one size that fits all. All right, so this is Esther. Esther is right here in the studio. Esther, I'll let you introduce yourself. Okay, my name is Esther and welcome everyone to this show. I am really excited to be here and I believe today's episode is going to be a blessing to you and you just get the answer at the end of the day. Amazing. So that's it. And I'm sure you had a good Sunday anyway. We really forgot to do that. Like, <laughs> did you have a good Sunday today? I had a good Sunday. Did you have a good Sunday? Of course. It was, Amazing. It was, the service was awesome. Yes, it was lovely. It was lovely. All right, so let's go straight to it. We're looking at the answer. I'd like to ask you, Esther, what do you think is that one answer that can take care of every life issue? Okay, so we know that life issues are like they will always say problem no they finish so it keeps coming and it keeps coming and it keeps coming from the day you're born you struggle to to creep from struggling in fact sitting a lot of things from that day that the baby is born it struggle all through up until then so how do you escape from this struggle how do you escape from all these things Human, humanly we cannot say there is a particular method or a particular way we can actually exempt ourselves from life struggle because life itself it's a struggle but we always have the answer and that's Jesus the answer came long even before the struggle started if I would say the answer has always been there and the only thing we can do for ourselves is accept this answer the only thing we can do for ourselves is take in this answer and then you believe it as much as this answer was for me personally you make it so personal and that's the only way the answer can be of use to you yes more like it all right amazing one i like that that the answer has been in existence before we even came so let's let's paint a bit or let's tell us a little story of um the 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 nature the nature of this person and how before the nature even came how were we tell us okay so i would um i would go really gospel gospel i hope it's okay. i hope everybody's comfortable with that but from the beginning the story is god saw everything the bible says the earth was without form was without void and darkness covered the face of the deep so the earth was just there and somebody somewhere decided to make things perfect without you without me he thought by himself out of his love out of his goodness that let me put things in place and in that his perfection he he made man in that his perfection he included man and man was perfect and the way the bible puts it that in the cool of the evening the spirit of god comes down to fellowship with man so you can see how beautiful and how peaceful he was and how peaceful the earth was up until man decided to look at himself instead of looking at god i would say yes man decided to look at himself man left the focus and god would say do everything take charge have dominion take control accept this particular thing and that's the struggle that we have for some people when i was a child i used to feel like oh why did god not just remove that um <laughs> that um, tree yeah. why was it even there in the first place you know at the beginning like i was explaining it was all perfect god made everything beautiful he made everything perfect so and then he just put man in that perfection man was perfect as well so he he asked man to just take charge of everything, take dominion, have control. And it was, 
it was it was beautiful very beautiful for god because he looked at it all and then he says everything was good and for god to say something was good he certainly was good so for me i said when i was a child i would always feel like why didn't god just take out this 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 tree why was the tree even in the in the garden to say it could have been somewhere this else tree that is causing yeah. trouble. <laughs> but that's the beauty of god right that's 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 how beautiful god is he would never force you into anything as much as it was his creation it was him it was his idea but he would still allow man make make his choice right yeah. sorry he would still allow allow man make his choice so that was the reason for that because no matter how how beautiful everything is it's still your choice to stay in this beauty it's still your choice to stay in this perfection so that was the beginning of everything that was how everything started and then man had to look outside god's perfection man had to look outside god's plan yeah. and that brought the the downfall that we are or that people oh, yeah. experience yeah that people experience today and Okay, so man had to look outside God's plan, yeah. and then of, of course the devil came, deceived man, and man, and you know that story is very interesting for me because I I think about it like man wasn't blind, right? He he, he could see, but yeah. he couldn't see that he was naked. He couldn't see his imperfections. He couldn't see his shortcomings. But after he looked outside God's perfection, after he looked outside God's plan, that's when he noticed. That he was naked that's when he started to see his flaws and he even had to hide himself and you can imagine someone who was given dominion someone who had control had he's, to, now scared. he's now scared right had to look for somewhere to to hide himself from god and it tells you what the um adamic nature does to us it tells you what the the sin nature so it does exposes to us. our flaws yes to us. it just shows us who we are not exactly it just who we, are not. Who we are not and for me that's that that's the beginning of it all and because god is so merciful because god is so beautiful and even when adam was trying to use leaves to cover up god was like that's not enough my dear it's not enough for you he had to even make him um animal skins and all of that to okay. help him so you could see that even in our in our in our shortcomings god's love is still very expressive yeah. he's still reaching out there's a song that says his love his love keeps reaching out to me yeah. he keeps coming after, coming after me. me so even when we are far away from him he always wants to express his love yeah. through us and with us and it's, it's a very beautiful thing so if we choose to look into that picture if we choose to look into that perfection it's like going back to the initial plan of god yeah. and god is willing to explain better he's willing to tell us more about his plan because we, we we didn't see it all actually we saw up until adam derailed right we didn't see every what, other yeah thing. yeah what god really all had in beauty. store yes we didn't see everything so it's when we we acknowledge that perfection again that's when god will start revealing the rest to us because for now he's trying to amend things he's trying to patch things up he's he's not the the intention is not still clear enough except we choose to like go back to him and that's why he remains the answer that's why he remains because anything outside god anything outside his perfection the results would never come it just keeps getting worse like it just keeps getting worse people will always say like my mom would say that when she was younger nigeria was even as bad as it is now <laughs> so you could see that and for me nigeria it is gets darker. Nigeria, yeah it just gets worse and nigeria is a good expression of how bad it can go for me like whenever i see things happening in this country i'm like this is how bad it will keep going if we don't go back to God's original plan. Yeah, because the, you know the scripture in Isaiah 60 that says, um, Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. He said, Darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness shall cover the people. So the thing, the reality is, the world isn't going to get better. At all. That's the honest truth. Yeah. Now, Running away to any place to hide is not the solution. The answer is the goodness of God. Accepting the goodness of God. I wrote a song some years back. By the way, I, I have an amazing um, uh, musician right here in the studio. He's my music director. And uh, I, I don't mind. I, would you want me to mention your name? Okay, I'll let him out. <laughs> 
in another one okay so he's gonna play a tune and i'll just do uh well i say a chorus of that song i wrote that song by the way is on youtube the title is you are good i did it with um afi douglas you can go google it hope swithing is the name google it and check you are good is an amazing song so it's about the goodness of god that god is good there is no evil in him there is no evil in god you can only give what you have the only thing god has is his goodness and that's the answer to every life issue well today is an introduction like i said of this answer we'll keep unraveling it in this month of april So it's been amazing. Like I said, this answer is the goodness of God. In other episodes, we'll be unraveling this nature of the goodness of God. We'll be unraveling it. And you would see how this answer is the only one size that fits all. It brings solution to every life issue. I've had a great time. Esther, thank you for being on the show with me. And I hope to see you again. Of course. It was really a nice time. Awesome. And Awesome. It was nice having me. Thank you so much. Thank you. And, and a big thank you to our producer. He's uh, behind the scene. Amazing King David. <laughs> He's an amazing guy. And here on the keys, I have my one and only Joel Ovo. He's right here on the keyboard and he's been doing an amazing background music here for us. Thank you so much, Joel. And um, it's been a wonderful crew. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, Esther. So I'll see you again. Don't miss it. Next week, Sunday, 6 p.m. We're right here again for you.